Ever wondered why snails carry a house on their back? It's not because they are always ready for a camping trip, no sir. These delicate creatures known as snails have a unique way of life that sets them apart in the animal kingdom. Their shells, which you might mistake for a tiny mobile home, are actually a crucial part of their survival strategy. Can you imagine carrying your house everywhere you go? Talk about a real estate problem. There's a whole universe to explore when it comes to snails. From their interesting diet to their peculiar nesting habits and even their fascinating evolution journey, these slow-moving critters are anything but boring. With hundreds of different types of snails across the globe, each with its own special features and quirks, the world of snails is as diverse as it is intriguing. Well, hold on to your shells as we dive into the slow but fascinating world of snails. Snails come in all shapes and sizes, from tiny ones you can barely see to ones as big as a tennis ball. Yes, you heard it right, a tennis ball-sized snail. Now that's a sight, isn't it? Snails, these slow movers, are an incredibly diverse group of creatures. They're part of a larger family known as gastropods, which include everything from tiny garden snails to the large marine species. But no matter their size or where they live, all snails share a few common features. They have a coiled shell they can retreat into when threatened, and a foot they use to move around. Now let's talk about their sizes. The smallest snail, known as the dwarf snail, is so tiny that you could fit 10 of them inside the eye of a needle, imagine that. On the other hand, the largest known land snail is the giant African snail, which can grow up to 8 inches long. That's about the size of a standard tennis ball. And it's not just their sizes that vary. Snails can be found all over the world. From the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, from the hottest deserts to the wettest rainforests, snails have adapted to live in a wide range of environments. They're truly global citizens. In the city, you might come across the common garden snail, slowly making its way around your backyard. If you're near the ocean, you might encounter the colorful sea snails, each with their unique ornate shells. And if you're trekking through a forest, you might stumble upon a tree snail hanging out on the bark of a tree. Snails are incredibly versatile and adaptable creatures. They've evolved over millions of years to survive and thrive in a variety of conditions. No matter where you go in the world, you're likely to find a snail living its slow but steady life. So whether you're in a city or a forest, chances are there's a snail nearby. But don't worry, they're friendly neighbors, always taking life at their own pace. Did you know that a snail's shell is like their own personal mobile home? Yes, it's true! These little creatures carry their homes on their backs, ready to withdraw into at any sign of danger. But there's so much more to these shells than meets the eye. First off, a snail's shell is not just a home, it's a part of their body, much like our own skin. It's made of calcium carbonate, the same stuff you find in chalk and limestone. So, if you ever wondered why snail shells look a bit chalky, now you know. The shell starts to form when a snail is just an embryo and continues to grow as the snail grows. In fact, if you look closely at a snail shell, you'll see it's not a simple spiral but a series of expanding whorls, each one larger than the last. That's the snail's life story written in shell. And these shells aren't just for show, they serve several crucial functions for the snail. For one, they provide protection. Whether it's a hungry bird or a curious child's fingers, the snail can just retreat into its shell and wait for the danger to pass. It's like having a built-in panic room. But did you know that a snail's shell also helps regulate their body temperature and even their hydration? That's right, the shell is porous meaning it can absorb and lose water. This helps the snail stay cool on hot days and moist on dry ones. It's like having a personal air conditioner and humidifier all in one. And let's not forget these shells are a marvel of natural engineering. They're strong enough to protect the snail, yet light enough not to be a burden. They're perfectly shaped for the snail's body and grow in a precise spiral pattern that's as beautiful as it is functional. So next time you see a snail, remember, you're looking at a master architect. Not only are they carrying their home on their back, but they're also sporting a natural wonder that's as practical as it is pretty. Now that's what I call a super shell. Think snails just sluggishly move around all day? Think again. Snails may seem slow and steady, but their lives are anything but dull. Let's dive into the secret lives of these fascinating creatures. First up, let's talk about diet. Most snails are herbivores, munching on everything from leaves and stems to fruits and even the bark of trees. But some snails are carnivorous, preying on insects, worms, and even other snails. So the next time you see a snail, remember, it might be a little plant nibbler, or it might be a sneaky predator. Then there's their habitat. Snails are found almost everywhere on Earth, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains. 
They inhabit gardens, forests, deserts, and even the Arctic. They're quite the explorers. But no matter where they live, snails always seek out moist environments. That's because they can lose water quickly through their soft, permeable skin. Now, let's talk about lifespan. Some snails live only a few weeks while others can live up to 25 years. It's all about the species and the environment. But one thing is for sure, snails are in no rush to grow old. They take life at their own pace, slow and steady. And speaking of slow, did you know that snails can sleep for up to three years? Yes, three years, they're the ultimate sleepyheads. This long nap, known as estivation, helps them survive in harsh conditions, like extreme heat or drought. When the environment becomes too tough, they retreat into their shell, seal the entrance and snooze away. And while they're sleeping, their bodies undergo a slowdown process. Their heart rate drops, they breathe less, and their metabolic processes slow right down. It's like they press the pause button on life. And when the conditions improve, they simply wake up and carry on, as if they just had a good night's sleep. Imagine while you're busy growing up, a snail could be sleeping the whole time. Now isn't that something to ponder? Did you know snails are quite the romantics? Yes, that's right, these slow-moving creatures have a fascinating love story to share. Just like us humans, snails like to take their time when it comes to love. They court each other for hours, sometimes even days, before deciding to mate. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Most snails are hermaphrodites, meaning they have both male and female reproductive organs. This means any two snails can mate and lay eggs, making every snail a potential partner. When the time is right, snails exchange sperm, which they use to fertilize their own eggs. It's a slow dance, a ballet of patience and precision. The snails gently entwine their bodies, exchanging packets of genetic material. This dance can last hours, as both snails ensure their partner is just right for them. Once the dance is over, each snail goes about its business, carrying the fertilized eggs within them. After a while, they find a cozy, moist spot in the soil where they carefully lay their tiny, pearly eggs. It's a nurturing process, as the snails cover the eggs with a mixture of mucus and soil to keep them safe and warm. The baby snails, or snailets as they're sometimes called, hatch after a few weeks, fully formed and ready to start their own slow-paced journey. They may be tiny, but they're fully equipped with a small shell and a big appetite. They'll start munching away at leaves and other vegetation, growing their shells as they grow older. So, that's the snail's love story. A slow, patient dance, followed by the careful nurturing of their eggs, leading to the arrival of the next generation of snails. All this happens right under our noses in our gardens, parks, and forests. So remember, behind their slow pace, snails lead quite an interesting life. Their love story is a testament to the wonders of nature and the amazing diversity of life that exists on our planet. Now it's time to put your snail knowledge to the test. Question 1. What's that spirally thing on a snail's back called? If you said shell, then you're absolutely right. These shells are not just for show, they're a snail's safety bunker when danger lurks. Moving on to question 2. Do you remember where snails live? Yes, they can be found in various environments from gardens to forests and even in the desert. Snails are truly the globe trotters of the slow world. And last but not least, question 3. What do these slow-moving creatures love to munch on? If you said plants, then give yourself a pat on the back. Snails are mostly herbivores and enjoy a good leafy meal. So how did you do? Remember no matter the score you're now a snail expert.